Kate. It's well, Kate. You know oh, what I mean? It's a live show. Funny. Funny. Oh, I know. Any stool you'd like oh, to sit in, gosh, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll do Natalie talk here, Janet talk here. We'll just jump back and forth. Do you sometimes forget who you're, who you're supposed to be at the moment? I have, actually, on occasion, yes. Really? Yes, every now and again, the wrong line will come out, or I'll jump into a different scene. But so we... you understand what we just went through? Yes, well, the split screen's hard. The timing part is hard. When you're playing off yourselves and you can't see the tape while you're playing with it. Yeah. But in reality, you are Natalie most of the time. Janet has just come into town. Is that how this thing is? Uh, well, I was Natalie for five and a half years, and then Janet arrived about seven months ago. Mm. Is that so the it's... first time the audience learned that she had an evil sister? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I ah. think. We talked about Janet occasionally. I see. Never nicely, of course, but... No. <laughs> but poor Natalie, she's been uh, trapped. She's been... <laughs> Only she's herself. been part of the summer trapped in a well uh -huh. um, <laughs> that her, Janet, her sister Janet threw her into. Yeah. So the audience has not seen Janet in the last few weeks, but she makes a return on Friday. Yes. She threw Natalie in the well, and then she yes. disappeared? Well, she got caught sent to jail uh -huh. and now I think it's Thursday or Friday the competency hearing occurs uh -huh. to find out if she's really crazy or if she's gonna go to prison for the rest of her natural <laughs> days what do you think in your heart of hearts is she crazy oh she's nuts okay so yeah. she's certified don't you think yeah. they know she's certifiable yeah. but, but isn't this very time-consuming do you have to change makeup and hair mm -hmm. before every shot mm -hmm. oh. well when we started when Janet first came on she was about 30 pounds heavier and had very long black hair mm -hmm. so, so that took more time and... need padding and wigs and totally different makeup mm. and then she evolved into a Natalie look-alike so that, that made it a little easier when we were jumping back and forth between the two and now Wait till you guys see her. <laughs> she doesn't look well at all. She's got her roots are growing in, and she's all upset about that because they won't let her dye her hair blonde. And so we do do the makeup and hmm. hair changes. So. All right, well, let, well, while we're talking about it, let's take a look at a clip now. Here are the two sisters confronting each other on All My Children. You were a sniffling little wimp when you crawled into my house. I was unhappy. You were fat and frumpy and broke and I gave you a home and beautiful clothes and membership to a health club okay you were nice I gave you money and family and friends I gave you more than you ever had in your entire puny little life I tried to make you feel better you did and the moment you felt like a human being the moment you had a grain of confidence what did you do you turned on me you tried to kill me I overreacted <laughs> Oh, yeah. This we have a couple movie. of guys on the staff just right for her. <laughs> good. She needs a good man yes, in her indeed. life. But, but, but to think that you gave her uh, a membership to a health club. I mean, how could she wow. turn on you after that? <laughs> Janet's a little ingrate, I yeah. guess. Yeah. She just has a different sense of reality. You know, she always believed that Natalie had everything, she had nothing, and it was her turn in life, and she had to take it. You know, we were over on the All My Children set, but I, I don't think you were working that day, were you? Yes, I was. Yes, yes. I was there. But you were there as Natalie. Yes, Natalie yeah. went to the ball. Oh, the that's ball right. you were. Yes. You guys did very well. It's very hard to come into a oh, situation that's foreign to you and, and make it look as easy as you guys did. Well, we've had most of the characters on our program before, so, it's, so we, we kind felt of know right everybody, at home yeah. in that sense. That's true. But you read cue cards very well. I was very impressed. Really? I, I'm sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have said no, that. No, that's all right. I asked for cue cards on, on that show. I, I'm not going to... No, no, memorize all memorize them. Heaven forbid you memorize. Oh, absolutely. But it's not, it's not easy to read cards and make it look like you're not reading cards. You know, it's he's going to do good. a scene. He's doing two scenes in Robert De Niro's new movie with De Niro. I dare you to ask for cue cards. <laughs> I don't have enough lines to ask for cue cards. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm working with... Uh, yeah, Bobby and I are working. That's great. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> when you get to know him, you call him Bobby. Have you met him yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. De Niro to And I read. probably never will, but I'm working with him anyway. Listen, Kate, we're a little pressed for time, sweetheart, but right. thank you so much for coming by, and we'll look Say forward to both of you on all my program. Okay? You do a great job. Thanks. Hey, Connie, right back with our dead ring lookalikes at a moment. Kenny Rogers and John McCready and Michelle from Full House.